A good conversation has two parts. Part where you talk and part where you listen and learn. Now we talk to God through prayer, and one of the best ways for us to listen and learn is by reading the Bible. See, reading the Bible helps us understand what Jesus is like, what he did, what guidance he gives us, and how he views us. And our connection to Jesus grows as we read because we're spending time listening to what God wants us to hear him say. Now the tricky thing is that the Bible isn't just a simple book that you read cover to cover. In fact, maybe you even tried that and you got lost, confused, or bored along the way and gave up. It might actually be better to think of the Bible as a small library of different types and styles of writings. It's a combination of historical books, poetry, wise sayings, biographies, and letters, which collectively tell an ongoing and cohesive story that demonstrate God's love and pursuit of us. Now, all of it's valuable, but certain portions are just going to be more helpful early in your faith journey. So with that in mind, how do you get started reading the Bible? Well, here are two helpful things to get you started. One, pick a time and format that works for you. Pick a time that you know you'll be available regularly. A consistent time can be very helpful because it comes a part of your routine. So maybe it's during breakfast or as you drink some coffee. And if you're not a reader, the YouVersion Bible app will actually read it to you. So you can do this as you drive to work, go for a walk, or even just do work around the house. Now, the second thing, pick a reading plan. Don't just randomly select some part of the Bible and be hopeful that'll be the right one for where you are in your faith journey. And I would recommend reading one of the biographies of Jesus, like the book of John, that describes his life and what he told his closest followers, written by one of those followers. A good Bible plan will even have some things to say and some helpful things to think about based on what you read that day. Check out the link below and to see a plan that I think would be great for your first plan to dive into as you start reading the Bible.